Hey brothers and sisters, how are you guys doing today? Today is the 22nd of June 2016. Alright, so we're looking at Anita Fuentes today. I have not done a video on her, um, but it was brought to my attention today by Trisha. Thank you, Trisha. And I wanted to, um, first of all, I'm not going to do a bashing video. Um, what I'm going to do is just analyze what she said and bring it to everybody's attention because I don't necessarily believe everything she said. And it's going to stem from what I see in these last days. These last days, deception is running rapid. I talk about this all the time. A lot of people get mad at me. Um, my only goal here is to not let uh, people get pushed around and especially not allow people to get manipulated into parting with their money to people on the internet. Um, the internet, it costs as much as you pay on your monthly subscription to Comcast or whoever you have. And no amount of uh, speaking is going to change that. So what we're looking at is what Anita Fuentes did today. She put out a heartfelt letter pleading with her subs to send money. So let's give a little listen as to what she says here. Our average donation ranges $15. Now to put this into perspective, we currently have a 2016 monthly budget of approximately $50,000. No, you don't. That probably shocked some of you, doesn't it? Yes, it does. A so-called internet ministry having such a huge budget. That's right. That's because we're not just an internet ministry, but a... She's a very good speaker. There's, there's no doubt about it. Anita Fuentes is a good speaker, and she puts passion into it. She's a storyteller. Right now, she's telling you a story. It's very heartfelt. For example, when she says, 50000 a month. Probably shocks some of you, right? I know. I understand. So, <laughs> she's a good storyteller. But this is what the prosperity preachers do. And I don't think she necessarily preaches a prosperity gospel, but she certainly brings it again, brings it around on the back end. She's trying to get that prosperity for herself. Make no mistake. What she's done here is she's just boasted that her ministry, uh, her costs are $50,000 a month. Write that on a piece of paper. $50,000 a month. That is $600,000 a year. Most doctors don't make $600,000 a year. Most lawyers don't make $600,000 a year. I'm sorry, you've got to use a little bit of humor here. It's true. Try running your... Different occupations don't make $600,000 a year. And they use up far more materials than what Anita's talking about here. So you heard what she's asking for, okay? I don't need to play it, but I'm going to play another little clip. All right, so listen to this next clip. Please understand the enormous work that goes on behind the scenes to make sure you are fed properly and timely. In a nutshell, we... I hate when preachers use that, that you are fed, that my ministry feeds you. You'd be dead if it wasn't for my ministry. You come here and you get fed, fed as though there were no other resources in the entire world. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Most people that get on the internet are being silly. People get on the internet because they're bored. And if a Christian gets on the internet, they probably will go check out the latest video from some teachers that they like. But I can almost guarantee you you're not being fed the word especially when most of your videos are about um, Putin, the Antichrist exposed, or Tsunami is coming. I mean, these are the same type of videos that Paul Bagley puts out there, shock value videos. I don't remember seeing too many Bible studies from Anita. I mean, maybe she did, I don't know, I don't watch her. What I'm trying to get at is, is it accurate what she's saying? Is she being accurate? And my answer to that would be, no, it's not accurate. People, the majority go to a church, and there are some that do get fed, but it's multiple channels. 
And if they don't have the money to donate, they don't have the money. When people like Anita come on and they start pressuring people to donate, there's something wrong. There's something very wrong, and it's it just doesn't add up. So listen to this next part here. Produce, labor, deliver, prepare, broadcast, conference, travel, Bibles, discipleship packages, billboards, school of ministry, administration costs to run live feed, software and hardware, lights and camera, audio. All right, so let's pause it right here. This is the, the center paragraph is what she's talking about. It sure sounds, and again, this is the psychology, it sounds like she's listing off a, just a tiring and incredible list of just massive expenses and the costs to operate, and it's just out of control. When it's just not true because you can break it down and this is the psychology of it all let's look at the list that she just put up here in a nutshell we produce is there an expense for that no there's not that's actually a word that doesn't mean anything because it costs you no money to come up here and hit the record button you're not producing anything it's like saying right now that i had to pay uh, to put to make this video no the only thing that i'm paying with is my time and because I'm doing it for the Lord, it makes me very joyful. It does. I'm going to be silly about it. I do it out of the kindness of my heart. But I don't expect to, to think that I'm actually, with anything that I do, changing the lives of people. I mean, I hope that I can edify. But I'm not stupid enough to think that somehow, if I died today, that these people that, that thirst and hunger for the truth of Jesus Christ are somehow not going to find their salvation. No. God is going to take care of his children. Their lives don't depend on me putting a video up every day. There's not people coming here that can only be fed here. It's just, it, this is psychology. So you can scratch off produce. You can scratch off labor. You can scratch off deliver. That doesn't even make sense. What are you delivering? You're delivering it from, you know, your GoPro video to uh, YouTube? Prepare, again. These first five right here, what is that? One, two, three, four. Broadcast. What? What? You don't have to pay anything to broadcast it on YouTube, Anita. Conference. Last time I checked, it was free on YouTube. Travel doesn't count. It doesn't count. You have a YouTube ministry. The only thing you travel to is these conferences, and I'll guarantee you, you take up an offering there. Guarantee it. Bibles? You know, I checked your website. There's no Bibles being given out. Last, I, I probably in the last four years, I've sent you five messages. I never got a response on one. God forbid I should need a Bible. I wouldn't be able to get a hold of you to get one. And there's certainly no tab. So what's that all about? Discipleship packages? The only people that can get a hold of you, Anita, are the people that have already donated. So, I mean, it's crazy. According to you, I mean, look, I'm looking at your sub count, 100 and almost 158, 157,000 people. I think it's pretty safe to say, I don't know of another woman on YouTube who has a larger Christian channel. So that's something um, that if you have a true heart for the Lord, you can certainly take advantage of and reach some people. But certainly... Nobody can get a hold of you. Most of the people, and I can ask for a kind of a, a poll on my channel, if there's anybody listening that is ever trying to get a hold of uh, Anita Fuentes with success, let me know below. But even if you haven't, let me know below. I mean, I tried four times, four or five times over the last uh, five years just watching random videos, some where I wanted to um, admonish her, some when I had questions. You know, what do you mean by this? What are you getting at? Never got a response. Never. So, I mean, I, I don't know where Bibles comes from. Discipleship packages. How does one get a hold of one of those? Billboards. Again, nothing to do with YouTube. Nothing to do with YouTube. If you're not getting money off your regular ministry, um, if you do have a church, then there's something wrong. Maybe you're not supposed to do billboards. But it certainly has nothing to do with the thousands of people that listen to you on YouTube. They're not responsible for that, sister. School of ministry? Do you have a brick and mortar school? I don't understand. Isn't it an online thing? So again, 
There's no cost to that. Again, you're talking about your time. Admin cost to run live feed? Don't know what that means. Live feeds are free on YouTube. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Last time I checked, they were. Software is a one-time purchase. Software stays with you forever. That's not a monthly expenditure. Hardware is not a monthly expenditure. Lights, camera, one-time purchases, not monthly expenditures. AV, don't know about that. That's a very elusive term. That could mean anything, audiovisual. And then finally, she puts website. Well, let's go and look at your website, Anita. I'm going to line this up. We're at her website. Now, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, bear with me. I'm going to move this down. You can see here that the website is designed by Anita Fuentes at Homestead. Huh. So, probably saw me at Homestead. This is Homestead. Their most expensive plan is $60.99 a month. That's their business plan. Now, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's say it's a custom plan. Let's say it's a custom plan where you have uh, a separate webmaster working on it, which I'm really giving you the benefit of the doubt because, remember, back here it says that it was designed by Nita. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you have a guy that works on it. Let's say you're paying him $1,000 a month to do it. That's the first expense that I've actually been able to actually give you. $1,000 a month. I'm being absolutely honest with myself. I can't imagine. Look, I'm a minister of the word. I go out and street preach. I have a church that I go to. I actually do. You can see the free Bibles behind me. I go to St. Vincent's, I go to Goodwill, I go to Salvation Army, and I pick up used Bibles. Now, of course, if they're nasty, I'm not going to get them, but they're usually in fairly good condition, and I can hand them out. I brought boxes of boxes of Bibles to my church, and um, just last week, two girls, two teenage girls came forward, and they gave their hearts to Jesus Christ. And they ran in the back, and in the box that I brought, they grabbed two of my Bibles and presented them to these girls. And though I didn't say anything, I didn't try to take credit for their salvation, it still warmed my heart knowing that I had even a little bit of participation in helping these girls. I hope they took those Bibles. And well, chances are they probably went out and bought their own. But I mean, because we live in a very rich, rich country. So um, either way, either way. There's ways to cut expenses. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So if we go back, if we go back, let's line this back up here. Um, all of this right here, it just doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. I can't see where you can get to $50,000 a month, where you can possibly justify $600,000 a year. It's crazy. Even if I were to give you your conferences and travel, you know, travel expenses, it, it wouldn't equate to $3,000 a month. It's crazy. It, with my best discernment, I can't give you that. It is nuts. There is no way that you're paying that your expenses are $50,000 a month. We broke it down here. None of this counts with the exception of if you're paying a guy to run your website. You should be grateful, Anita. Everything that you're getting in on donations is free and clear. You should be happy with what you have. You know, and I see it furthering what you've done here is you've disabled your likes and dislikes and you've disabled comments for this video. And then to further, I think, your attempt at making this an emotional and uh, fantastic type video is you've come over here and you've removed all your videos.
minister from the Sorry. If you click on her videos, they're all gone. So what's that about? Is that dramatic a little bit? She's just ready to just cancel everything and throw in the towel. But I'll guarantee you she's making 